This is StormTrack 12. Plentiful sunshine filled the skies here on this Sunday, but these clear skies are kind of a double edged sword in the wintertime. We see the sun quite a bit during the day, but then it gets pretty bitter cold at night. We're already getting there here right now. 12 degrees looking down towards Johnson City. It feels like three out there and it's certainly starting to fill in all of that cold air. Check it out. Four degrees already in Ithaca, three degrees in Cortland. We're still in the teens farther to the south, closer to the Pennsylvania state line, but that cold air is going to continue to filter in the farther in the night that we go. So if you have to be out and about tonight, be sure to bundle up to say the least. All of those wind chills right now reaching close to zero could even go below that the farther in the night that we go and that's because of that high pressure still just off to our north keeping things relatively quiet. There's what's left of that winter storm that rocked the center of the country. The last of that snow pushing its way through the DC Metro and through parts of the Chesapeake Bay. But again, things have been relatively quiet here for us. That cloud cover has been slowly shifting south all the way through the day. And again, we're going to have clear skies as we go through the rest of the night tonight and even as well into your Monday morning. But those clear skies again going to bring back the bitter cold through the rest of the night tonight. Temperatures will rebound pretty nicely tomorrow, though, thanks to having plenty of that sunshine all the way through the day. Clouds will steadily start to return through the week then as we warm temperatures up closer to the freezing mark, and it's going to stay quiet up until we get closer to Friday. That's when we're going to have our next shot at some consistent snowfall as we go into next weekend. But on this future track through the rest of your night tonight and into tomorrow morning, nothing popping up whatsoever. Just clear skies all the way through. We may have a few high clouds passing by through the afternoon tomorrow, but otherwise it's going to be a very nice day overall. And then there's the clouds steadily starting to return the farther we go into our Tuesday as a little weak disturbance tries to make its way in. But those temperatures tonight, that's the big story. It is going to be cold. Everyone going to be in that zero to eight degree temperature range, maybe even a few spots. I wouldn't be surprised to see below zero such as Cortland, North which even up towards Oneonta, but temperatures tomorrow afternoon going to recover nicely back into those 20s with all of that sunshine out there and the recovering clouds will help keep us a little bit warmer as we go into Tuesday morning and into Tuesday afternoon. But for tonight, there's that bitter cold again. Could see places getting down to near zero degrees, maybe even just a little bit below that as we go through the night tonight. There is all that sunshine through the day tomorrow. Again, going from 11 at 9 o'clock all the way back up into the upper 20s by 3 o'clock. And then we're going to hit a high of 28 degrees. Those temperatures do start to recover all the way through the day. And there's the warm up too. the trend going warmer as we go Tuesday into Wednesday, some brief snowfall on Wednesday, and then a clipper comes in on Friday, and we're looking at our next storm system next weekend, bringing a decent amount of snowfall to the area. And I don't know about you, Damon, but I'm very excited for that sunshine tomorrow. Oh yeah, we will take it. It's such a rare thing in January. Anytime, we'll always take it. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Damon. And after the break, we have highlights from the 